This is Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell on the Forge Audio Network. Forge fans, welcome back to another episode of Forge Daily. Today is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. I'm your host, Mackenzie Barwell, here to give you all things Forge FC. Training is looking a little different this week as we quickly approach another match day against Pacific. So normal time out on the pitch this morning, but tomorrow will be a little later in the day so the players can catch a flight to BC. Coach Bobby and I got a little bit more into that in tomorrow's episode of Behind the Beard, so keep an eye out. Today I spoke to David Chouanier after practice to get his opinion on how the team has been performing at this point in the season now that we're over halfway through. He also gave us the rundown for his game day routine, including his game day meals, which I thought was pretty interesting. But before we hear from him, Forge FC was representing yet again in week 14 of the CPL's Team of the Week. In the midfield, we've got Kyle Becker. It is his third straight appearance now in the Team of the Week for Forge. He earned Gatorade's Performer of the Match this past Saturday against Valor, recording 101 touches, three chances created, and 30 passes in the final third. Taryn Campbell is the number nine, scoring six goals in his last four matchups. And of course, being the league's all-time leading scorer. I was listening to the podcast that Jordan Wilson and Andy Petrillo have for One Soccer, and Andy described him as a wrecking ball recently. So I felt like that was pretty accurate and it needed to be repeated. As he continues to just widen the gap between his competition for the Golden Boot this season. There was also some representation for Pacific FC in the center back position. Thomas mayer Jaguer has shown up for two solid performances on the road this week, winning all four of his battles in the air and then six of seven against Halifax. He also led a young Pacific back line to a clean sheet on Friday against York. So he might give Forge a hard time when they attempt to break into the final third on Friday. All right, let's talk about the playoff format in the CPL and why Forge is fighting so hard for a top seed finishing the regular season. And I've heard some rumblings post-game, and I know that it's a bit of a confusing setup. So let me try and explain it as simply as possible. The first place and the second place team will have the easiest route to the championship. They'll play each other. The winner will be sent directly to the final. The fourth and the fifth place team will also play each other. The losers knocked out immediately, and the winner will play the third place team. The winner of that match will face off in a semifinal against the team who lost that initial first place versus second place match. Are you following? (laughs) That will determine who's in the championship game. So you can see why it would be very important to maintain um, a first or second seed. It's interesting that the CPL is doing a five-team playoff setup, but, you know, That's just how it works. All right, let's get into my conversation with Dav. He started by telling us what a typical game day looks like for him. Okay. (laughs) So usually wake up around 9.30. It's a slow day, so I take my time, shower, then around 11, have my first meal. Lately, I've been doing two toasts with peanut butter, three eggs, avocado, and just drink a lot of water. I don't know how I feel about the avocado-peanut butter combo. I I don't care. (laughs) It just, I just want to get the nutrients. So. <laughs> and then I try to just take my mind off, not stress too much, not think too much about the game. Just yeah. relax, watch TV most of the time, go for yeah. a walk. And then let's say we play at seven, usually at four, have my second meal, I only eat two meals. Mm. And usually chicken, pasta, nice. simple. Carb load. Carb load. Mm-hmm. And then get ready for the game. Think about what I'm going to wear, and then and we go. Okay. Do you agree with the statement, you know, you dress nice, you play nice? That's not That's not. I don't believe in that. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sometimes you can have the ugliest outfit and play amazing. I don't, I'm not superstitious like that, okay. so it doesn't matter. It's more important about the energy, yeah. 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 Okay, we just talked about how tomorrow you got to catch a flight to BC. Yeah. There's a time zone difference. What are some of the other challenges that come along with playing an away game? The flight. Sitting down for... Five plus hours is not easy. And then the time difference always plays a factor when you go to sleep, when you wake up, you feel a bit like the three hours, it's a, it's a lot. So it affects your body and then you, your mind and body feels a bit more heavy. Yeah, yes, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to adapt in 24 hours. Yeah. That's why it makes an impact on fitness sometimes. 
you obviously won't have the amount of home fans that you did this past game. They all mm-hmm. came out in the mm-hmm. rain, stayed the whole thing. Can you just send one message to the fans? Yeah, we're super grateful for them. I think uh, it was an amazing night. Even with the rain, they showed up and supported us. Unlucky we didn't get the win. I think we did enough to, to get the three points. But yeah. just having that support, it's a boost of energy. And we need them, like, the couple games remaining. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to pass talk about the last two games. I think mm-hmm. in New York, we had a really great game where we scored four goals. And last game, we played really well. I think we did enough to win. We played good football. We were dominant over the 80, 85th minute. And then we could see the set pieces. Yeah, I think we, we shot ourselves in the foot a little bit with that. But yeah. I think if we keep playing that way, we're a bit more patient with the ball. Yeah. The ball movement is a bit quicker too. So just finding the right time to attack and and be explosive at the right time too. I think that the last two games of us, we've been doing better. And then we just need to keep scoring. I think last game we had, I mean, we had the offside, which was a goal. We were playing a big factor, I think. But if we were able to score two more, like one more goal last game, I think we get, we get out with the three points for sure. That is officially all I have for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. As always, tomorrow we've got another episode of Forge Daily Plus Behind the Beard. So we will talk to you then and have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. This has been Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share.